Now, I don't make my other channel mess. I'm coming over here to do some Marina covers, you guys. <laughs> With that being said, this Marina purse the poison. We're going to dip and dabble in some more of her work. Again, I know I had said some crazy stuff over there on the other channel about Marina. And I know that this face right here is unforgettable in every way. So with that being said, you guys know already I have to give a shout out to today's book sponsor of this video. This here... Is, this here is the Oyam's journey. Hell broke loose. This is by Dylan McClintock. You guys go and check this out. This is about a relationship that once it gets too hot and heavy, hell breaks loose, right? Some people just ain't, uh, they're not here for it. And they're gonna do whatever they can to break this relationship up. So with that being said, you guys go and check that out. All the links are in the description box below for the Oyam's journey. So with that being said, I like the I like this cover and everything, but it's more creative than you think it is. You have to dip and dabble in this here. All the links in the description box below. Now again, purge the poison because Marina, we have this thing, me and Marina, and I just really wish that it wasn't so much about girl power. Dang, you know, whenever we try to break down the walls of segregation, we have somebody here to remind us that hey, I've got bricks. And it's like that. So again, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into this song with an open mind, okay? And um, I'm hoping that we can respect each other. So with that being said, let's just jump into it, Marina. Okay, purge the poison. <laughs> ah, ah, second song I've I've done on her. Just give me give me a break. I might like this one. I might like this one. Woo! I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. I know y'all see me. I'm chilled. I'm chilled. I like that effect. Orange and green. We're good together. She's artful. I give her that. Friends all with their trees. Then we live in Hollywood. This is the hood. All society is full. Mother nature's on the phone. You are not my master. You're not a soldier. You know who you think you are. Ha ha! Tell me who you think you are. Stop it right there because anybody that wears socks with shoes like that it's it just reminds me automatically of 1960 it is what it is right because i'm not really sure if everyone could afford pantyhose back then but she's got she's got the whole wizard of Oz shoe right there with some little blue pantyhose socks on and it's just it for me queen okay um i don't know i think that she's a great poet let's give it to her that way can we just do that can we just say she's an excellent poet? And I think that whenever she's singing all this, you know, all this, I'm just like, what the, what in the hell? But then I heard her say something about Harry Weinstein just now, end up going to jail. I heard her say something about Britney Spears shaving her head and, Everybody calls her crazy and it is what it is. But she also started this song off with All My Friends Are Witches and We Live in Hollywood. Which I think is just, you know, totally insane. I believe it. I don't I don't think that there is a lot of God down there. And you know what I mean? Uh, I just don't think he's invited in, in into Hollywood. But that's up to the people in Hollywood as weird. As weird. <laughs> I said it. Ah, that's so funny. But I'm telling you, God will make the right words come out of your mouth whenever it makes no sense. <laughs> Point blank period. Um, with that being said, I think that Marina is really, she needs to go to like Kentucky, experience, you know, Tennessee, experience where men teach you how to sing, you know what I mean, and on another level, you know what I mean, like learn to sing country or something. I'm not knowing what it is about Marina, I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know what I mean, I'm trying to like her, because I'm not. <laughs> like, I don't know what's wrong with Marina, and damn it. Oh my God, she seems like a sister I would have had, and I don't have any, thank God, but that I would have had to beat her ass all the time because she would have been calling me a man, like, you know? And to be this old, still writing like this. I meant that. I meant that. We only make up one quarter of the government and female power taking back what's I want to be a part of the ones teaching the others that you own the room when you walk into it. I don't want to segregate any women and go, we must take our place back. No, you need to walk in that room like you already had your place and you're not giving that spot up. We have the wrong train of thought. And I'm not saying Maria has the wrong train of thought, but I do think that she needs to move her ass, her witch ass out of Hollyweird, period. But it is what it is. Let's finish her and be done with it. Oh, 
There we go. I finished it real quick. I'm done with it. And I promise I will never, ever, and I mean ever, cover a marina and the diamond marina and a keychain marina and a hanging from the moon, a marina nowhere. I'm not even going to swim in a marina. I'm not even going to touch a marina. I am letting marina go. This is the last retired Marina song on how I see it. The very first and the very last. You just, if we get it done just like that. However, I already know you guys are gonna leave me your thoughts in the comment section and by all means, be my guest. Put your favorites down there. Maybe if you guys have something, cause I know there's always that one girl that comes back and is like, I can just imagine and I feel sorry for you. Like, shut up, shut. I want you to love you, girl. I want you to love you the same way that you would equally yoke someone else if they weren't the same sex. That's all I want you to do. I want you to look at grandpa and go, you know, I love my grandpa. My grandpa is his tender soul. He's a great man, treated my grandmother with the utmost respect and men are worthy, right? I want you guys to look at me and like, you know, that my dad's been here my whole life and he may not have given me every damn thing I needed, but he gave me what I, you know, what was needed at the time. And, and I think that, you know, uh, we just have a perception. It's just totally different. And I will be the first one to let you know that my daddy ain't shit, okay? My daddy ain't shit, ain't been shit, ain't never gonna be shit. And in the ground, he's just became shit. So, but I'm just saying though, and with that being said, I didn't, I did not, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. In the beginning, Oh yeah, you know what I mean? I, I, I looked at girls like, I just have to change my life around, forget it, there's not a man that can have my heart. I'm just done with it. But then there was like my friend that's now my husband and I'm like, I just can't see my life without you and no, you're not like the rest and you may be human, but we are human. You see the way, she, you know what I mean? Marina's acting in this video, she's human. And you know, and by all means, she's, she's, she's able. She's able to act that way because hell, now we're paying her to act this way. But I will tell you that um, we're not gonna get what we want being women when you're acting a mad mess like that. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> subscribe to my channel if you have not already done that. Subscribe, sign up for notifications. Those do go hand in hand as well. My name is Brandy, I am How I See It. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Marina. I should have worn my glasses for this one. Y'all said I was a hot mess last time. Y'all don't know the half of it.